Oh boy, I didn't expect the day to arrive, but here we are. Yes, you, your eyes are not deceiving you. Conway Vula is officially here. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and I am Bokusatsu. And welcome back to my channel. And today we're here to review a figure that I've been waiting for since, well, since his debut actually, cause <laughs> I remember, I remember when they, I remember, I remember when they announced this guy. I was mind my own business, right? And a friend of mine tagged me on Twitter and showed me that. I was like, "Yo, let's freaking go! Heck yeah!" And this came out after a few days after the debut. <clears throat> also, just want to point out. I just want to point out, Voldemort's uh, debut happened in February on Black History Month, and about, well, well, that was. That was a golden moment for me. <laughs> because I'm black, that's why. Anyway. This figure. Yeah, no, yeah, no, this, this, yeah, no this figure is beautiful. Sorry for stuttering, but this figure is gorgeous. I'm going to talk about the good and the bad. So, okay. This might be a little bit of a hot take, but. Yeah, I know. This is. Yeah no yeah no this is this is this is the freaking best suit in the show. I stand by it. I stand by that. It looks just like the suit from the from the show as well. Some people some people hate it, some people don't like it. I disagree. This, this suit's freaking amazing. So how so how so how good is he for articulation and posability? He has to be really good. So you gotta be gentle because of these. This is how far. Oh, this is how far he. This, this is how far he can go. You go from here to here to here to here. And yes, you can pose. Yes, you can move his leg. His leg got more. His leg got more like well posability because well, this well the suit well, well the suit has more like uh, posability in the show. While I love the the OG Voldemort figure that came out this year. I cannot lie, Chief. I like this one way more. And you're gonna see, I took a lot of pictures of this guy. And uh, they are all freaking beautiful. So good posability, good articulation. Any like, any like uh, smudges here and there? No. Oh uh, yeah, just like just like with the other Voldemort figure, he come with his freaking uh, he come with his freaking he come with his daily well, his daily low, he come with his sword, his sword slash gun, the Voldemort slasher, the Voldemort slasher as I call it. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to say in Japanese, so please forgive me, but I'm not butchering I'm butchering incorrectly, but yeah, this guy this guy's really good, good paint apps, good posability, good articulation. Now there are a few issues with him. You cannot make him hold his weapon with both hands, with only one. The other Voldemort figure, you can make him, you can make him hold with both hands. This one, they can. And now uh, that's the one. That's the one thing that figure has over this one. Cause I would love to have this Voldemort hold, well, his sword with both of his hands together, but unfortunately, he cannot do that. I'm gonna. From, I'm gonna guess that that Tomashi said, you know what? You know what? We saw what we saw what we saw. What, sorry, sorry. He stopped stuttering. I'm gonna get Tomashi. Said, you know what? We saw what we did with Voldemort's figure art. So let's change a few things for Conway Voldemort's figure art, and uh, they did. This is one of them. So if you want, so, so if you want Voldemort to hold like his, oh. So if you want this figure to hold like both his swords, unfortunately he cannot. And yes, and yes, you can pose him too.
This guy, this guy's pretty good for posing. <laughs> oh man, he's so good. Oh, that move free flip out. But uh, yeah, this figure is so good. Tamashi Cooker Femme. From the articulation, from the posability, from the scope. This looks just like the actual suit from the show. But I do I do want to point out, I love the fact how this figure has a bigger helmet than the one from the show. Because they kind of did it, they, they did this weird thing with Kamara Lies figure and dress that they made the helmet like look really weird in the in the prototype pictures. But uh in person, it looks it looked just like the actual helmet from the show from a different angle. I don't know why they did that, but uh, Tomashi did this for live, and they did different vote the Kamen Volderad, and now they're doing this for Dread. I can't wait for Dread. I will get my copy next month, so that's gonna be pretty fun to review. Will I get Will I get uh, about Daybreak? Yes. Yes, I will. Don't worry. I, I have Fire Gotcha on pre-order as well. So on to the accessories of this bad boy. Now he, he doesn't come with he doesn't come with any like accessory pieces. Accessory pieces. Sorry, I forgot chart because my Jade, uh, OG Volderad in uh well the bike all come with accessory pieces for God chart. This guy doesn't. And by the way, to F right, if you have the original Volderad, this guy can hold both this this guy can hold both of the Volderad swords. Just saying. <laughs> and also since also since technically you have this guy, you can turn the other Volderad into into Lacalus's Volderad. And that that's basically what I did. I didn't customize it, I just I just turned I just posed a figure into into Lacalus version of Volderad from the show. Which is an A plus. <laughs> anyway, so he only comes with he only comes with six hands. His open hands. His uh his gra his uh, attachment hand for his weapon. And his uh fist hands. And that's about it. He. These are, the, these are the freaking default hands he get when you open the box. But that's about it. That's all he comes with. He doesn't, he doesn't come with like any other accessory pieces for Gotcha, which is good, by the way. God, I know there are people... I know I know that there are people who are confused about... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why does Gotcha... Wait a minute. Wait, I know about... Sorry. I know there are people who are confused about why the heck did Majay came with a... Uh, a, piece, a freaking accessory piece for Gotcha. But yeah, I want to point out... It was in the promotional pictures for the item, for the figure. So you're welcome. And now that I have all the gotcha figures, it's so satisfying having the game together. <laughs> and speaking of gotcha in the game, size comparison. And, well, well, it'll only fit if I compare the whole gang. So, here we have Mr. Steam Hopper himself. Here we have my Jay. Love this figure. I think by far my favorite figures from from the Gacha line are Kamai Volderad, Kamai Kamai Jay, and Kamai Legend. Oh, this trio looks so good. Uh, this 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 trio looks so freaking good. Ah oh. oh, man, so awesome. All right, let's move it out of the way. Here we have Legend right here, Mr. Gorgeous himself. And here we have uh, OG Volderad. This is basically Lacus Volderad to me now. The complete difference with day and night. I know there are people that prefer the OG Volderad suit over Kamen Volderad. That's fair enough. Personally, I prefer Kamen Volderad suit way more. But I do miss the OG Volderad suit. I'm glad that he used it one more time 
in his final form debut before uh, before, before Gotchart ended. He even used in the stage show and the v, upcoming V Cinema. All right. And here he is with, uh, with Yusuke Yameshi, the next figure I'm going to review. And here he is about Kamai Valen, the last figure I reviewed. And you guys love that figure. You guys love that video. All right. And here is with the uh, uh, Jazz Rare Shadow, movie Shadow. Love this figure. Top 10 figures of this year. And here he is with another top 10 figure this year. <sighs> Blue Vegeta. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this, this, t this uh, trio right here, had, there's so much... There's so much uh, hater energy in all of them. Well, granted, Vegeta's not a hater. He just he just does, he just can't stand Goku's stupidity. But uh, Goku does help him strengthen their rivalry. He even he even admitted that in Revival of F, in Resurrection in Resurrection of F. Love that movie. But anyway, uh, but anyway, yeah, that moves on the way. And, uh, what do I think? Yeah, I figure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, this figure is pretty awesome. And, uh, if you're gonna ask me, is this the same, is this the same weapon from last time? Yeah, yeah, it actually is. Although, they, although this one, although it looks like this one's painted way more better than the first one. And that, and that was pretty cool. But, yeah, that's about it. This figure's pretty really good. If I had to rank it, so minus the uh limitation for his arms and I can't I can't make him hold the sword with both hands. His skirt his skirt's pretty good, even though my you know this one this one this one freaking bent right there a little bit. Good articulation, good posability. He he does have a little bit of limitation which is which is a freaking irk to me. But everything else about this figure is really solid and really good. If I have to say, if I'm going to pick him up, go buy him. But remember, he is premium Bandai. Just like all the other gotcha figure arts. And that's the only, and that's all I'm going to say. But I think that uh, if you want this guy, check out for like, check, keep an eye out on uh, basically uh, stock. Keep an eye out on stock import sites like Ami Ami. Mandarake or Ninian Games cut they're gonna have this guy in stock I'm bet I'm gonna guess and when they do you, you go in there and go buy him but yeah thank you all for watching please like comment subscribe my next video next video the next figure we're going to review is the SA figure Yusuke Yura Meshi for Yu Haka show I'm pretty excited for that one but uh yeah thank you all for watching Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media description. All four of them, including my Instagram. And uh, I'll and I'll put in the description well my 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 hobby link my hobby link Japan affiliate link. So you can go ahead and buy anything you want from Toku or anime merchandise. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Put put the notification button and all. Subscribe to this channel. And uh, share this video too with all your friends and family. And yeah, let's get the channel to a thousand subs. That's my goal before this year end, before 2024 is over. And yeah, that's all I want to say. My name is Aaron, and I'm out. Have a nice day. Bye bye.